Hey, Lauren here. I really wanted to go live today and tell you actually what I'm doing as an investor. Uh, well, and as, as a realtor. However, I can't because this is still confidential information, but I think this is really important because this is what I'm actually doing to build my wealth and the numbers behind you are real numbers. Um, from two different offers that I got on a property of mine yesterday and so I wanted to talk briefly about how I'm going to analyze the properties and I think it's relevant now because you have a lot if you're a seller you're probably getting multiple offers and I think it's so very important for your realtor to understand numbers and I think that's in well I think that's what it gives me an advantage because I'm an active investor and a realtor and so numbers are, are sometimes can be deceiving so uh, I can tell you more about this property in a little bit, but I wanted to focus just on the numbers right now. So we're going to talk about 20 minutes. So buckle your seatbelts. And if you want to figure out how to build wealth and by using other people's money, OPM, this is literally what I am doing and how I am doing it and how these are real numbers. This isn't some get rich quick crap. <laughs> these are numbers that I'm actually analyzing right now. So two offers. First one came in at $585,000 cash. The second offer came in at $635,000 half cash, half financed, kind of. Now, I will also say this offer situation is not in the United States, so that's why, you know, there's seller financing options, um, and it's two semi-cash offers. Um, so it's the, some of the nuances here are a little bit different, but the principles are all the same. So one's at 585, one's at 635. What do you think your realtor would tell you to do? I mean, this one looks pretty darn good and you're like, oh, 50, almost 50% down, that's awesome. But hold it, you know, that's a $50,000 difference. And so, I would say most people are gonna go, oh, let's do 635, it's $300,000 in cash, that's awesome. And then it's uh, 335,000 seller financed, which they offered 4%, that's not gonna happen, but we're not there yet uh, for three years and basically do a HELOC um, home equity line of credit, but they're asking me to finance it. And I'm a human, I'm not a bank, and so banks can do these lower interest rates because they, do they create a house of cards by loaning out money and then they've got assets and then they can loan it out again at 90% and then again at 90% and again and again and again and again. And that's called creating a house of cards that can tumble at any point. But that's, that's, another, that's a topic for another day. Anyway, back to this one. Half seller finance for three years, HELOC, which would basically give, give me $1,000 a month and I get to sit there and do diddly squat while I have my $300,000 cash and I get about $1,000 a month uh, over three years. It would be $36,000 that I get to sit and do diddly squat and I get to get that. So I get to live off other $36,000 of other people's money. Um, and I then threw in this $50,000 over here because I, if I accepted this offer, I'm going to not accept that 4%. We're going to be at 6 to 7% because this is um, seller financing and this is boo hockey. It needs to be closer to 6 or 7, uh, which would give me $50,000 for doing pretty much absolutely nothing. So that might be good it, given your situation. It, it, real estate investing is not a one size fits all, it's, it's a very dynamic system. And so that my offer might sound great to most people. Other people, it's garbage. And it's, you know, that's, you can't just, it's not one size fits all. So it's not like this is brilliant, this is dumb. It's just, you have to figure out what works for you. So second offer, $585,000 cash, $50,000 less than the first offer. However, it's 100% cash. So, and it's giving me, you know, and just for the sake of math and ease, I did, this is 300,000 additional cash I get on closing day. The closing days were actually the same day. So I didn't put any of the information that was similar in the agreements, but on the closing, I get approximately $300,000 more without doing a seller financing, which with that difference of, 